Thanks for joining us tonight at 10. I'm Maria Lizignoli. Well, tonight, the Madison Metropolitan School District Board of Education voted on eliminating standalone honors courses for universal earned honors. So following several votes, the board landed somewhere in the middle. NBC 15's Colt Molesky sat in on the meeting and he's here now to help us parse through where they landed. So Colton, what is the future of MMSD honors classes? Maria, the motion to pass the elimination of standalone honors failed, but a different motion passed. This would keep standalone honors while also implementing earned honors in all core ninth grade classes across the district starting next school year. What we're talking about you know, dominantly or more importantly is the expansion of honors opportunities for all students. The Madison Metropolitan School District proposed several recommendations to change standalone honors. The system would look like embedded in every classroom is the opportunity for a student to get honors credit. MMSD Board of Education President Ali Muldrow says the goal is to give more students the confidence to tackle honors level coursework. And a student might have more or less confidence in their ability to be an honor student when they enter high school. Following Monday night's vote, the board passed earned honors in all core ninth grade classes, putting a system already used by some schools in every school. From the first time the idea of eliminating standalone honors was presented, it was presented as a decision that had already been made. Before the vote, MMSD parent Michael Teitelbaum questioned why more research on the system was not presented ahead of the vote. Are those students going to be adequately served by the system that we're wound up with? Not just the students who have been taking these classes, but the students who should have been taking these classes. Still others at the meeting question what proper compensation or workload would look like for teachers handling both honors and non-honors work in the same class. Well, it's something for us to consider. It's not something necessarily to throw out. To reiterate, the vote will change core classes for ninth graders next year. The 2023 spring semester will remain unchanged. In studio, Colt Molesky, NBC 15 News.